Hello guys, my name is Samurai PR. I hope you enjoyed the holidays and are having a great new year. Welcome to the second episode of the Multilogging series. Today let's talk about third-party clients. There are different ways to play old school runescape. Some players use the web browser, a mobile application or the vanilla client. However, there are other ways to play the game on a computer, such as using third-party clients. In my experience, the two major third-party clients would be Runelite and OSBody. We are going to be using Runelite because you would have to pay to use all of the OSBody features. Also, there was a controversy with OSBody because it recently added some shady features that can get you banned. Runelite offers similar features for free and all of its plugins have been approved. Runelite is necessary if you are going to log in into multiple accounts without any issues. Now let's talk about using Runelite for multi-login and how to optimize it. You can open Runelite more than once by clicking on the program icon multiple times. In my case, I assigned it to a hardware button that I can tap multiple times on my Logitech G910 keyboard. First, let's optimize the client. Let's start by disabling all of the plugins. Now let's go ahead and use the star on Runelite settings to move it to the top and let's disable the custom Chrome window. Let's restart the client and now we will have it open with the native OS window interface. Now the title bar looks more clean and the sidebar button has been moved to the top right corner of the window. Let's go ahead and enable the most important plugins to further optimize the client. First, let's favorite them by clicking on the star icon so that we can have easier access to them. As you can see, we enabled GPU, FPS control and low detail. For FPS control, I recommend setting limit global to around 24 frames per second or less. The limit unfocused function will allow you to set the frames per second of a window that is not in use. I find 7 to be a sweet spot for what I do. Setting it to a lower value might improve performance, but it might also make clicking on different clients harder. Let's go ahead and log in into an account, open the task manager, and compare performance. For this video, I'm using a 6th gen i7 processor and for graphics, a GTX 970 mobile. As you can see, I'm using about 10 to 15% of CPU usage. This would probably allow me to use about 6 clients without major issues. Let's go ahead and enable the plugins. You guys will notice the CPU usage will drop drastically. On average, we are using now about 5% of CPU per client, but we are starting to see some GPU usage too. In this case, now we can open up to 3 times more clients without major issues. On the GPU plugin, you can tweak the draw distance in which you can see the word. Lowering this value might improve performance, but also make it harder to navigate. With the low detail plugin, you will notice that the quality of the in-game graphics lowers a bit and some elements are removed. Now, if we needed to travel to parts of the game that we cannot see, we can increase the GPU draw distance, but also we can use the camera plugin. First, let's enable vertical camera. This allows a 90 degrees angle and it will show you more of the world. Then you can expand the outer zoom limit to allow you to zoom out further away. We noticed that the default zoom speed might not be fast enough, so we can also increase this value. Let's go ahead and favorite the plugin to move it to the top for easier access. Another plugin that might slightly improve performance is Entity Hider. However, in some cases, you might want to see other players or NPCs. You can tweak this by going into its settings. Some of you might find useful to enable object markers. This can help in situations where you cannot see the objects that you need to clean on clearly. You can change the color by going into settings. To highlight an object, you need to press and hold the shift key while you right click on the object. You will notice there is an additional option to mark the object you are right clicking on. This plugin is helpful to know the exact bank position when zooming out and also which resources are available. If you are doing some combat and you want to highlight NPCs or monsters, you need to enable the NPC indicator plugin. It works exactly the same as the object marker by using shift and right click, but the settings has more features that you can tweak. Another plugin that I strongly recommend when using multiple clients would be Idle Notifier. You can enter the settings and find some tweaks. 
I enable idle movement notifications so that every time I bank or move to a point, I get notified when I finish the task. Also, the default notification delay is 5 seconds. I would lower this to 2 seconds, but be careful and always test your settings. If it's too low for what you're doing, you might get a false idle notification. For now, this plugin usually works when the client is not focused. By default, you will receive the notifications in the form of flashes in the taskbar. You might also get a trade notification if you have them enabled on Windows, which in this case, as you can see, I don't. Let's go further and enter the room light settings. I prefer to not get the flashing taskbar notification unless I'm using virtual desktops, which we will discuss in another episode. So I disable it by unchecking request focus on notification. Here, you can also disable trade notifications by unchecking enable trade notifications. I would still like to know when a client is idle, but in this case, I will use the flash notification option. You can choose different ways to get notified, but I recommend using solid until cancelled. Once again, this only works when you focus and you will receive a red overlay on the client that is idle. This along with object or NPC markers and camera plugins is the perfect recipe for mass multi-login. There are more plugins that you can enable depending on what you are doing, but I recommend enabling them only when you need them to save resource usage. Every improvement to system usage, no matter how tiny it might seem on a single client, is very important when you consider to practice mass multi-login. Thanks for watching today's episode and please check the description to join all my platforms. Also, if the video helped you, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel with the notifications. See you guys soon.